What's going on guys, welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV and in this video I'm going to be previewing what is our final game of the Premier League season. I can't quite believe how quick it's gone, it feels like only the other day we were losing 3-1 to Villa at home and now I'm sat here on the final day of the Premier League season where we're going to be facing Norwich away. Now this is going to be a really odd game considering that neither side really has anything to play for. We've got top four in a bag, we're about 7 points clear of Everton. Norwich, they're confirmed to go down after Sunderland's victory over West Brom the other evening. So, unfortunately enough for them, they're going to be playing in the Championship next season. So, I think they're going to really want to go out. Um, they, they can't really go out in a high because they're going down. But I think they're going to want to play for a bit of pride in this one. They're going to give it at all, give the fans something back. Because Norwich fans, a lot of them are excellent. Uh, always there, selling out their stadium. Um, and I think they're going to try and do something for them. And... I remember when we played QPR last season when they'd already gone down. They gave us a really tough game there. They really played for the shirt in that one. I would expect us to do the same, but I think we're going to have a really laid-back approach to this game because, of course, we're focusing on that FA Cup final the following week. I would expect a really heavily rotated side. Um, you know, maybe we'll see the likes of Kelstrom. It would be really great to see someone like Diaby coming to the team. And obviously the massive boost for us is having Jack Wilshere back in the squad and hopefully we'll see him feature, if not in this game, in the FA Cup final. It'd be great to see Jack with his hands on that trophy. Um, same goes for Kieran Gibbs. He's back in the team. Ramsey, we've got him back. Of course, I wouldn't really want to risk any of these players, but I think it's crucial that we keep the likes of uh, Ramsey, Ozil, maybe on the bench for this one because we they're going to be so, so, so important um, in the FA Cup final. I mean, honestly, I could see this game being a really scrappy 0-0 draw. I don't think there's going to be any real intensity to this game. I could see a lot of it just us defending the game. I mean, uh, I'm not really. T I, I would love us to go out on a win. I mean, like I've been saying in previous videos, we're racking up the wins now. And if we go into that FA Cup final with all this momentum behind us, then you know that, that should all continue, and we should get a comfortable victory against Hull. I mean, I think that's going to be a completely different style of game. But overall, really, there's not too much to discuss about this upcoming game. I mean. Um, like I said, I don't think it's going to be the most interesting of games. It's just important that we get a victory in this one, go out on that high, and then continue that into the FA Cup final. I'll get straight into my team selection. I'd go with Chesney in goal, get Jenkinson, Vermaelen, Koscielny, Monreal, Kelstrom, Diaby, Kazola, Rosicki, Podolski, and Sonogo. Now, that's a team that's obviously heavily rotated. I've got the FA Cup game in mind. I think that's a team that can go out there and beat Norwich. Whether they do or not remains to be seen, but hopefully we'll get uh, three points in this one, go out on a high, and uh, we can really go into the FA Cup final with a huge load of confidence under our belt, and I'm really looking forward to it, but it's going to be nice to have a really laid-back game where, you know, we don't we don't have any pressure on us. I mean, how many seasons have we seen where we've gone taking it to the final game of the season? Newcastle last year, West Brom the year before that. I mean, it's going to be nice to actually finish fourth strongly rather than you know, panicking for it with Tottenham in the, on the final day. I mean... Uh, I was so relieved about that, and to get four, although it's not winning the Premier League title, considering we've led the league for so long, that really does infuriate me, by the way, that we led the table for 128 days, and longer than anyone else, and, you know, we're finishing fourth, it's not great, but we're not going to be too far off top as it goes, I mean, it's like, what, five, seven points, something like that, I can't quite remember, but uh, it is improvement, that at the end of the day, it is improvement, we finished fourth strongly, rather than scraping through it for other teams like Tottenham, and you could bear in mind that Tottenham haven't played as well as they have done in previous seasons under Tim Sherwood. Um, the same goes for Man United because they've been totally out of the equation this season. If they were to come back next season, then uh, it really would be interesting for that top, those top four finishes. But hopefully, hopefully we can improve over summer, bring in a couple of new transfers. Um, and overall, we, if we win the FA Cup, we can look, look back at this as being a decent season. Finishing fourth strongly, picking up the FA Cup, in my eyes, that is a very good season. Anyway, leave your team lineup predictions in this one. That's the one I'm really interested in, as well as your score predictions. I'm going to go for a 2 0 win to the Arsenal. Um, please subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV, as well as my own channel, AFC Game by Game. Like the video, and as always, thanks for watching, guys.